Hello everyone, my name is Leanne. I am a biochemist. I studied at WITS. I graduated with BSc Honours in 2005. I'm currently a master's student at WITS too. Uh, we have been consulted by Bath & Buckton Heater Tower Rails to conduct research on the microbial load of towels that are dried normally, air dried, or um, are dried with the heated towel rails which you see over here. What we have found, our preliminary results, um, do show that the microbial load is lowered after day 12 um, up to 75% with the heated towel rails. The way that we conducted the experiment was um, to be able to create as many replicates as we could so that we could get enough uh, verification of microbial loads. So what we do is we open up the, the tubes, we, we then take a sample um, of the towel and what we do whenever we are sampling is to be able to rub cross sections of the towel as much as we possibly can um, and then we place that back inside the sterile tube. We then give that a shake so that we can get all the microbes into it and then we send it away for analysis. Um, we then create a, a broth. Um, we have a broth medium and in the broth medium you then add uh, sterilized water, you create a mixture, you autoclave that, you sterilize the mixture and then you add your samples in. You then leave that to culture over a 24 hour, 24 hour period at 37 degrees Celsius. What then happens is you then generate plates um, you grow, grow up your plates, um, showing your bacterial counts, and you then count the number of colony forming units that occur on a plate. And the results that we have found is that air drying, normal air drying within a normal bathroom situation, excluding sunlight drying, uh, we versus the heated towel rail within a bathroom situation at 70 degrees Celsius has um, the microbial load reduction after day 12 and that means that there is evidence that using the 70 degrees heated towel rail definitely reduces the microbial load.